And now we'll look at how you can add this group to your Google Classroom. We're going to click on the Apps button in the top left corner of Google Chrome. And this is probably the easiest way to get to your Google Classroom. Once you click on the Apps button, you can then go down to the bottom right corner and click on Web Store. This opens up the Chrome Web Store. And in order to add Classroom to that list of apps, we're going to type in Classroom and press Enter on the keyboard. This brings up Google Classroom at the top of the list. We're going to click on Free, and then it says Confirm New App. We're going to click Add to add Google Classroom to the list. Now if you have an Apps button in the bottom left corner of your taskbar, you will also see Google Classroom there. But most often you will find Google Classroom right here. Now you'll see that I've added it, and Classroom is right here. Just clicking on that button will bring up your Google Classroom anytime. Just for the sake of troubleshooting, if you don't see Google Classroom in either place, just type in classroom.google.com and press Enter on your keyboard. Now I have a Google Classroom called Rep Tech, and I'm going to add the Google group that I just created to my list of students. To do that, click on the Students tab at the top, and then as you scroll down, you'll see the blue Invite button click on invite and then you'll see that you can invite students from your contacts list or from groups. I'm going to click on groups and under the groups list you'll see all the different Google groups that exist. Now this is the group that I just created or I can add any other group that I've created earlier. For example I created a group called Rep Tech. Now this group does have members that I can show you as an example. What you would want to do is click on the select all button which then selects every student that has already joined your group. Then click Invite Students. This will send out an invite email to everyone on that list. Now if the student is already a member of your Google Classroom, you'll see this red message come up. In this case, it says one person is already a member of the class. Nothing to worry about, just click Dismiss. And that's how easy it is to create a Google group following our naming convention, and then add that group to your Google Classroom. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark Rapp.